Good evening to you. I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your trending stories for Green Country tonight. Jurors found a man who led police on a deadly chase back in 2017 guilty of first degree murder. 25 year old Jerry Newman crashed his truck head on into a car, killing the driver. The jury recommended a life sentence with the possibility of parole. The man responsible for the Tulsa Police Department's impeccable record for solving homicides is retiring. Today is lead detective Dave Walker's last day with the department. He's been with TPD for more than 30 years. His homicide squad has one of the highest murder solve rates in the country. Sergeant Brandon Watkins, who is currently in charge of the robbery unit, will take Walker's place. Sergeant Walker says he may pursue a second career in public speaking. And it was a hot afternoon across eastern Oklahoma. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s. We hit 96 officially here in the Tulsa area. About a half dozen degrees above the average high for this time of the year. 95 in the Muskogee area. 95 as well in Okmulgee. Now temperatures during the late evening have cooled off. Back in through the 80s. We'll drop into the 70s by morning. 75 here in Tulsa. Some of the outlying areas will start off in the lower 70s. So warm and a bit muggy during the morning hours. As we move through the day, we'll see mostly sunny skies. A few clouds will try to develop during the afternoon with the peak heating of the day, especially in parts of southeastern Oklahoma. So mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies area wide for our Saturday. Temperatures back in the low to mid 90s as we move on through the afternoon. 94 the high temperature here in Tulsa, 95 in Ponca City. Temperatures upper 80s to lower 90s in far eastern Oklahoma. You notice 92 up in Grove and Jay around Grand Lake during the afternoon. So it will be quite warm tomorrow. Factor in that humidity and we're going to see heat index values anywhere between 100 and 105 again in many locations. So we are going to see some very, very warm temperatures across the area. Over the next 10 days, we are going to see temperatures start to drop off a bit. More clouds on Sunday, a slight chance of showers and storms and temperatures around 90 degrees. Only in the mid to upper 80s on Monday for Labor Day, best chance of rain. Then we'll see lingering chances of rain all the way through Friday, highs upper 80s.